80 miles south of Austin, a 3.1 magnitude earthquake shook the small town of Nixon, Texas. You may think hearing about an earthquake is rare in Texas, but it's not as uncommon as you might think. So how does an earthquake happen? Think of it this way. The Earth's crust is a giant jigsaw puzzle floating on top of a hot bowl of soup. Because of that soup, these jigsaw pieces slowly move around, and when they bump into each other, well, earthquake. The place where these pieces collide is called a fault line. Central Texas happens to have one major fault line running right through it. The Balcones Fault starts near Del Rio, runs up I-35, and curves toward Dallas. In fact, this very fault formed Mount Bonnell. The Balcones Fault is not actively moving and is considered one of the lowest risk zones for earthquakes in the country. Dallas, Houston, and the Panhandle are all near other Texas faults, with West Texas having the most fault zones in the state. Texas has had more than 100 earthquakes in the last century. Of those, five have been strong enough to damage buildings, measuring between five and six on the magnitude scale. The Nixon earthquake had an initial reported magnitude of 3.1 and a depth of about three miles down. Interestingly, it was the fourth quake with a similar magnitude and depth to happen within two weeks. All four of those quakes were in part of the state known for fracking, the process of injecting liquid into the ground to force oil and gas to the surface. Fracking, mining, and building dams have all been attributed to what's called induced seismicity, this is when an earthquake is caused by human activity. In the South Central United States, a significant number of recent earthquakes are thought to be caused by humans. Human-induced activity could lead to an increase in damaging natural earthquakes, but the research is still ongoing. While the Nixon earthquake may be minor, it could be a sign for greater destruction to come.